friends now we will discuss factors that influence maturity level the first factor being schedule 6 we have already discussed this if there is any item of income or expense and if it exceeds 1 lakh rupee or 1% from revenue from operation whichever is higher if my income or expense exceeds this limit then such income or expense becomes what material item it has to be disclosed separately and auditor should also consider the same in his audit the second point is related to size of business now this is a very important part size of business let us take an example say you are auditing reliance industries and you are auditing a small company say there is some reliable company now in case of reliance if we take one percentage of turnover of the company it's just few thousand crores if i speak of reliable industries whose total revenue from operation is 100 crore if i apply 1% it comes to 1 crore look at the difference in case of reliance it is thousands of crores in case of reliable company 1 crore so obviously the size of business goes a long way in determining the maturity level the next point is that of nature of business nature of business when I say nature of business, I mean to say the complexity involved in the business, the overall technical issues, financial reporting framework required in the business, they also go a long way in determining maturity level. Now in some cases, there is requirement of law. Let us say for example, there is some statutory due which is required to be deducted by the company and which is required to be deposited by the company. Now in such cases, even a small amount, 10 rupee, 100 rupee will become material. It doesn't matter who you are, reliance or reliable. If there is a misstatement in case of any matter required by law, it is material irrespective of size of amount more importantly auditor should consider both individual view as well as aggregate view in many cases a individual error or misstatement is not material but such misstatement is repeated several times and when we take a collective view which is nothing but aggregate view the same misstatement becomes what material therefore as an auditor i should consider material materiality both at individual as well as aggregate level